What's up you guys, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another video. Here we're gonna talk about XRP. I think XRP has some huge news that we need to go over. We're seeing some movement right now in the position as of 5.49 a.m. So we're gonna go into the position, look what's happening, and then we're gonna go into what the news actually is and how we can see this like guaranteed pump that's going to come from the likes of a big news story like this. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out any of the links that are down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, those links are also in the description. Now, don't forget about my Rumble, um, my Rumble account which I do stream on, I create videos for, and I have live streams over the weekend. So if you wanna be a part of those live streams, which I most likely was live stream early this morning, um, which is technically now, I'm gonna be live stream later in the morning, but you're gonna see this video later after the live stream. So if you guys want to uh, check out that live stream, go over to Rumble and you'll see me you know, talk about XRP and everything that's really going on at the current moment. So anyways, Let's talk about XRP. XRP is a position, right, that I've had for, I don't know, not really that long, honestly. I had some XRP, I guess, for a while, and, you know, just to see what it was. And a lot of times throughout the years, I've been using XRP as more of just like a, a platform to day trade, right? Because it was easily something that moved a decent amount uh, day after day, whether it was up or it was down because of the SEC drama, the SEC that was going on. And yes, you do have an ultimate um, use case and belief in where that can go. But I saw it as a day trade opportunity in the beginning because that's all that it was right then and there. However, long term, you could get something extra out of it. Right when you saw it at a uh, dollar eighty, and it went all the way down to thirty nine cents. Obviously, that's not a buy and hold situation. That's a you know actively trade situation until you see where the actual bottom is. So now that we see the vision for XRP, we see the multiple wins against the SEC. That's where it's like, okay, we understand the vision. We are now we were at the bottom, and now we're seeing a rise. And hopefully, you were able to get in at that lower level. This is why my cost basis is between 36 and 39 cents is because I wanted to buy closer to the bottom. I did. And now we see it up at a way higher point and also a further potential to go a lot further. Now, this uh, if we look at XRP and we uh, break down what has happened today before we get into, uh, you know, the news and stuff like that. So uh, here is XRP. It currently stands at about 63 cents, almost 64 cents. We saw, I saw a little bit of a notification that came up on my phone that said XRP is at 64 cents and I already had it loaded up and I was ready to talk about it. And it just all of a sudden started to take off from a level of like 62 cents, increase up. You're gonna see here, maybe a little bit of a bull flag where it increases from 62 cents, boom, jumps up here to almost 63 cents, then pushes above 63, and now is basically at that 64 cent level um, at 39, or sorry, 63.9. So uh, we have seen some decent sized growth uh, over this morning, right, because it's up 4%, and we're seeing that uh, currently, the market cap is at a $34 billion market cap um, and a $1 billion uh, volume day for Ripple is, or sorry, for XRP is amazing. Um, now, if we go back to the further look, if we zoom out and look at the entire market, we're currently at a $1.2 or $1.32 trillion market cap, which is phenomenal to see. Um, and you look at the, the competition here, right? Because we're looking to surpass certain things. XRP is looking to surpass BNB, looking to surpass Ethereum and Bitcoin. And obviously it does have, you know, it's work cut out for it to, to really surpass uh, these levels. But with big XRP news, <clears throat> something that comes around, maybe some sort of settlement, um, could push this a lot further, could propel this a lot further. And I believe it's guaranteed to really pump the position. It's just how far will it really pump? So um, we go into this news where uh, a Ripple lawyer says that a $20 million settlement is a 99% win for XRP, which is understandable, right? If you have a, a lesser settlement after everything that has happened, um, I feel like it is a win. I still look at a settlement as... Um, maybe kind of a loss. I understand how people are like, hey, this is a 50-50 and 
that's where I understand both sides, right? A 50-50 loss is where you're like, hey, let's just come out on top. Let's give you some sort of settlement. Well, that's like me. Um, that's like us playing a basketball game at, for $100. And then I end up getting to 20 points. The game was to 21. I end up getting to 20 points. And I say, and you go, you know what? Let's just call it even. And you just pay me $50. And then that's it. And we both get 50 out of the deal. That's not really how this works, right? Um, that's where it's kind of like, that's still a 50, 50 win, but I understand after everything that has happened, a settlement <clears throat> understands that now you, you are, you're not forced to settle. They are forced to settle. So it's still a win, um, in our books and still considered like a 90, 10 win, but ultimately it still could feel like a loss. But once everything is said and done and everything is settled out, that's where you see no lawsuit, you see it free of any type of harm, and you can see that guaranteed pump that we do expect for Ripple. So here's, uh, or for XRP. So here's uh, John Dean. So a prominent lawyer basically talks about how it's a 90% win um, over the SEC. So uh, people who argue that the SEC uh, got a 50-50 victory in the Ripple case are 100% wrong. I wouldn't say 100% wrong. Uh, it was more like a 90-10 in Ripple's favor. If Ripple ends up paying uh, $20 million or less, it's a 99% legal victory. Yes, it is a 99% legal victory. The, the issue, though, is it still feels like you're paying when you technically paid all this time to go through the the legal side of it to fight this you probably paid more than 20 million dollars to go through this fight so technically you're just like kind of paying off their legal fees at that point um another loss uh this week for the sec the street continues the second uh circuit in sec versus uh goville goville uh held that the sec uh, can't ask for a crippling um dis disorderment hopefully i'm saying that right I can't even say that this argument. I can't even see it. Uh, award uh, without first um, proving that investors suffered actual financial harm. In other words, no harm, no foul. And honestly, that is a win. I mean, we've seen multiple wins for XRP um, and Ripple. Ripple XRP, I feel like, is coming out on top on this one and we're going to see xrp pump i mean we've already seen a decent size move uh, as of late up to 64 and it officially is at um you know 64 so 64.09 right now and it has been climbing ever since so um let me know what you think about this is this considered a 90 10 win um do you feel like this is guaranteed to pump because right now we're already seeing that as we speak and i don't know what it's like when i do post this video at around maybe eight or nine o'clock. So let me know your thoughts. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys join me on Rumble. I remember, I'm gonna be doing live streams over the weekend. So feel free to be a part of that live stream or those live streams. But I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.